How you folks doing? James Clem here out at the Home Digital Studio. I'm excited about August 15. I'm doing a webinar on how I've integrated ExoCAD into my digital workflow. <laughs> I'm so excited I'm banging the mic here. So ExoCAD has become an integral part of my digital workflow. I use it every week. In fact, this week I started a full mouth rehab where I created shells at the vertical I wanted that I printed so I could fit these shells on like a glove fitting onto the teeth and the shells would represent my new occlusion. And then we would take those shells and break them up in pieces as we would go around the arch and prep. So we could take the bite registration in that new vertical already identified by a mock-up with the shells. And so the ExoCAD is just really working well for me. I still use CEREC every day as well. And I integrate ExoCAD with CEREC. Now the webinar August 15 is for the premium members on my website and that's cadcamdoctor.com. That's my new website platform. We've been working on that for over a year here at the Clem Institute. And I'm really excited about this outreach, this virtual outreach that I'll be doing on my website. Even though I still teach live, we have integrated with this new platform, a lot of virtual classes online. So no matter where you are in the world, you can attend these classes. And I'm so excited about this new chapter that I'll be entering into at the Clem Institute with all the technologies that we have now. I just love CAD CAM dentistry. When I'm in my clinical theater, I'm applying it every day. I love the digital aspect of what we do because in my attitude with what I do in my clinical theater is I want to do it better. I want to do it in a more efficient way. Doesn't mean we're fast because a lot of times slow is smooth, right? And smooth is fast. I'm working right now on the videos that will be used on August 15 to show you the various methods on how I use the digital wax up. In fact, that's how I got in to ExoCAD was via the digital wax up. So we can use that as a biocopy back into the CEREC software, or we can keep that in the ExoCAD ecosystem and actually transition our wax up right on to our preps once we scan that prep model in and there's minimal finishing and you can take those files, take them off to the in-lab CAM software and mill out those restorations with your prime mill or your MCXL, or you can take it to a five axis milling, which I have right behind me, which is a PM7 from Iveclair. But the secret for me with my scanning, whether it be my trios or my prime one, that's the prime scan one, is the DS core. And that has just been a blessing. It's opened up the floodgates of what I can do, even with printing. I'm going to show you a little clip that is on one of my online videos of how I use ExoCAD with a digital wax up to get the job done. And there's more than one way to do it. I'll do whatever I need to do to get the job done in a very efficient way. Let's go ahead and watch that video. I want to talk about how I entered into using ExoCAD. It was around the digital wax up. Even though ExoCAD is a full software and I will post videos on here how I use it, I still use CEREC and sometimes I'll use ExoCAD even for restorative dentistry when I'm making transitional restorations and that's what we would call temporaries. Now this video is about the digital wax up. I use two approaches. I use one with a full face feature and using the smile design feature in the ExoCAD software. That's really nice on a new patient where maybe they're considering a smile shift. Now, the other way I use a digital wax up where I'm not using the full face is if I'm waxing up restorations that I'm slightly changing and it's not impacting the face that much because I already know what the lip line is. I already know the length that we want, little things like that. So there's two ways to do that. Now, one thing that really helps me, even if I'm not using the smile feature in the software, which I only use about one third of the time, which means the other two thirds, I'm not using the full face. However, I still take a retracted view of the patient. Why is that important? Because with that, I can see the axis of the face 
and I can see if there's a cant and I want to change that cant. So on that picture, I'll identify several points in the mouth, whether it be soft tissue line or the edge of a tooth or several teeth to set up my axis. Now, even when I'm using a full face, I still do that. And I'm gonna show you where I do that in the software, which means I can automatically go back to those orientations within the CEREC software, and you can set up several of them, which is really nice. I wish CEREC had that as well. So this video is about working through a digital wax up where we're making just a few little tweaks to optimize a biocopy model for CEREC, believe it or not, with that new shape. So these are minor shapes where I don't use the full face. So this video will be the full workflow so we can do a digital wax up, clear through the study models and prepare that study model to print. And if you were using this for Sarah Chairside or getting it back from the lab, here's the secret. If you're going to biocopy a study model in, in CEREC, you always scan that first into that biocopy catalog. And if you know what I'm talking about here, sometimes if you scan it in after you have scanned the preps, it won't scan a study model. It will leave holes in it. And it's just the way the CEREC software is thinking right now. So there's the secret. The biocopy works extremely well from a digital wax up when it's done really accurately. And that's why I like ExoCAD so much. Okay, thanks for watching. I put a lot of videos here on YouTube and I always will continue doing that, particularly with how I integrate technology like the PM7 back here. And I do like a five axis milling, even though I do use the prime mill and the MCXL. Had to think about that special name there for a moment. But having said that, I've really expanded my base just to be better at what I do. This is how I still enjoy my profession. That's what I'll be placing here on YouTube. If you want a more intricate training or tutorial option where it really goes into details of the various workflows within CAD CAM and digital platforms, and I'll be adding printing to that as well this year, you can go to my website there at cadcamdoctor.com and sign up as a premium member. You'll get so much more benefit there than you'll pay for. You'll get CE, the webinars that I will be doing for the members will be CE focused as well. And you can get CE online. You can add your team members in up to five people, whether they be assistants, associates, or maybe you have a, a doctor partner in the practice. With one membership, you're eligible for these webinars. You're eligible for the CE because they can all create their independent accounts. We want to be abundant here at the Clem Institute. I've always believed that for my whole career and I'll continue doing that. Just as I'm abundant here on YouTube, I get those comments all the time of, wow, Dr. Clem, you just share so much. And I'll see that on forums. Well, that's who I am. It's about passing on a legacy. I'm in this learning curve as well as everyone else. Been practicing for 40 years, hope to get another 10 or more in mainly because I'm having a good time doing what I do. And I love to share it with you folks. You can see Jordan Sarah sleep. He's used to me doing these videos, but uh, I'm up here at my home digital studio. And this is where I like to be. In fact, this morning, I just want to leave you with this video. When I fly up here Wednesday night, I get up early in the morning. I go out and just listen to the birds and I watch the dogs play. I'll leave you with that because life is so much more than dentistry. Life is about abundance with your family. And for me, it's my animals as well, because I'm their dad. Bye now.